In this video, we will cover a sample exam problem for the Power PE exam. This exam problem falls under the topic of Power System Performance, which accounts for 6 of 80 problems on the PE exam. The question reads, Two ideal 480-volt, 120-volt transformers are connected in parallel. Transformer 1 is rated at 50 kVA, with an impedance of Z is equal to 5%, and transformer 2 is rated at 75 kVA, with Z is equal to 8%. Assume both transformers are delta-delta. What is the maximum sum of power that can be transferred with these two transformers? Each transformer cannot exceed their rated power. So the correct answer is most nearly, and the solutions are shown below. So in order to solve this problem, I recommend using the following equation, which can only be used when two transformers are arranged in parallel. And this can work for differing kVA or rated capacities and differing impedances, percent impedances, as, as is given in this problem. So this equation states that the power flow is through a certain transformer, whether transformer 1 or transformer 2, is proportional to the rated power of that transformer and inversely rated to the per percent impedance of the transformer. So this makes sense that power will flow through the least path of resistance. However, the equation shows that there are two unknowns, the power through transformer 1 and the power through transformer 2, which makes it difficult. So we will need two equations or we have to make assumptions and use trial and error. For this problem, since speed is a, is a necessity, I recommend using the trial and error method, which will be shown. So first, let's assume that transformer 1 is maxed out at its rated capacity of 50 kVA. Then we can plug in the values of the rated capacity of transformer 1 and the rated percent impedance for transformer 1 and the same thing for transformer 2. And what we're trying to do here is solve for S2, which would be the power flow through transformer 2. So once we do all the plug-in chug, we find out that the power flow through S2 is 46.9 kVA and the power flow which we assume through transformer 1 is 50 kVA with a sum of 96.9 kVA. So we also know that transformer 1 is within its rated capacity and transformer 2 is also within its rated capacity. And this is going to be the answer because as, um, as we add more load to the parallel set of transformers, they will load proportionally to this ratio. So although transformer 2 can take more capacity, transformer 1 will be unable to, to take more capacity. And this will be shown again on the next assumption that could be made. So next, let's assume that transformer 2 is maxed out at its rated capacity of 75 kVA. Then we can plug in the values, again, for the rated capacities for both transformers and the percent impedances for both transformers in order to solve, for this time, transformer 1, which is the power flow, um, shown as S1. This results in 80 kVA through transformer 1 and the assumption of 75 kVA through um, transformer 2. So the solution is not possible since the power flow through transformer 1 is above its rated capacity of 50 kVA. So again, just reiterating that the scenario 1 is the correct answer, and that the correct answer is most nearly the total power through both the transformer parallel sets is A96.9 kVA. Thank you.